What's going on guys? This is Eric and I'm back here at Black Hat Vapor again. So I do have to apologize for the background music. There is a band playing next door, but we're still gonna give an awesome review. So what I have here is a little bit crazy. This is the Cleto 120 watt. Now, I know a lot of people were a little bit skeptical about the 120 watt advertisement, but I can assure you this thing can handle 120 watts and even more. So before we dive down and check out this tank, I do have to mention that we are giving away two of these Cleto 120 watts. Details about the, con the giveaway will be in the description, but I will touch base about it at the end of this video. So let's dive down and check out the Cleto 120 watt by Aspire. All right, guys, this is your Cleto 120 watt in the packaging. This is what your Cleto looks like. And behind this piece of paper, you get an extra one, I'm sorry, an extra 0.16 ohm coil. And you also have one pre-installed in the Cleto itself, an extra glass portion, and an extra, I'm sorry, not an extra, you get a vape ban in the packaging itself. So let's take a look at the Cleto. Now, this portion right here is a Dell and drip tip, but the bottom part is stainless steel. And these actually come apart so that you can top fill this tank. And then this portion, now I do have to mention this as a con, sometimes, as you just saw, the coil gets stuck onto the stainless steel portion and sometimes the, gel, the Delrin drip tip actually gets stuck onto the stainless steel portion. So just be aware that that does happen. Um, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. And then the glass portion separates from this tank. However, since it is a new tank, it's kind of fused on there. So I'm not even gonna bother to try to wedge this off. And finally, you have your airflow at the bottom. And as you see, it is free spinning. It does not have any kind of locking mechanism on it. And you just put it all back together like so. Now let's talk about the coil itself. So those little teeth down there are actually for spit back. It prevents spit back and any kind of bad stuff happening within the coil. And the coil itself is actually the chimney as well. And those slots that are right there and there are for the juice to actually flow into the cotton and provide better wicking. So let's go ahead and reassemble this back together. And there you have it, the Cleto 120 watt. So I'm gonna go ahead and juice this up and we're gonna go back up top, vape on it and talk about it. All right guys, so now that we've dissected the Cleto 120 watt, the only thing that's left to do is to vape on it. So what I'm vaping on today is Brogurt, which is a blueberry yogurt with sliced peaches at max VG. I have the Cleto's airflow wide open. I'm using a 0.16 ohm coil and I'm running my Sigeli Fuchai at exactly 110 watts. So let's see how it vapes. So as you can see, vapor production is there and I'm getting nothing but full on flavor. So to test the advertised 120 to 160 watt advertisement, I'm going to bump this up to exactly 150 watts just to show you the performance of the tank. And as you can see, vapor production is definitely there and I'm definitely getting full on flavor. The only thing is that it is a little warm for my taste. I've only ran it about that high for about 30 minutes, but after a while I had to bump it down because it's just too much of a hot vape for my taste. And I usually run the tape between 110 to about 120 watts. So giveaway time. How do you enter into the giveaway? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below about why you should win a Cleto 120 watt. This is Eric here at Black Hat, signing off.